to just stop oil to bring London to a halt. Sadiq Khan has already done that. Absolutely right. Uh, and and uh, we've got Viv back again. She says, thank you for reading out my text. When you ridicule and insult me, you lose your argument. I do not have a mental health problem, but I do have a sense of humour. Um, actually, yeah, I, I wasn't suggesting that you did. It wasn't me that said that. By the way, she says, the small incident of a giant asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs. Yeah, but they did go extinct, didn't they? They did become extinct, so they didn't do themselves any favours by not eating any meat. And also, of course, there was uh, the small uh, situation with the Tyrannosaurus rex which I'm pretty sure did eat meat. Uh, anyway, let's talk to Gavin Mortimer over in France because uh, Paris was on fire again yesterday. Uh, Gavin's with a spectator, of course. Gavin, uh, you survived May Day then, by the looks of it. I did, thanks, Mike. Yeah, yeah, another uh, hot day in every sense of the word. Over 400 British officers hurt, about 600 arrests, uh, various things burned, cars, shots, uh, banks ransacked, etc. So, um yeah, a, a typical May Day. Yeah, I see they were setting fire to electric bikes. Was there any particular reason for that? Is it just because they're easy to set fire to? Well, you'd have thought not, because these people, are, they style themselves as far-left, eco-friendly type. So um, burning bikes wouldn't have been um, a, a very sensible tactic. But once the red mist descends on these people, might get, they're like a plague of locusts. Mm. They just destroy... I think it was 2016, they attacked... Uh, a children's hospital, uh, Necker Hospital, mm. which is the equivalent of Great Ormond Street. So these are, you know, these are not pleasant people. No, they're sort of a bit. It remind me of those guys that used to be the anti um, sort of globalist crowd that would that yeah. would meet up every time there was a G7 somewhere, and they put on their black balaclavas and just start setting fires and everything. They're rent them off. So is it so is it wrong then to characterise? those people as, as the ones demonstrating, because there's plenty of other people presumably peacefully demonstrating uh, because of the pension reforms. Absolutely, yeah. The vast majority, I've been in a couple of these um, uh, demonstrations, these marches, and 95% of, of the people are overwhelmingly uh, it, it, there to protest. They're generally uh, aggrieved at what Macron's done with raising the age of retirement, mm. and they do so peacefully. You just get this mob. You've always had it, of course, in France. And, and they're very much right. They're, they have this tradition. They're proud of the revolution. And they right. think that they're carrying this on. And uh, you know, the 19th century, there were various uh, revolutions, 1848, 1871. And so they think that this is the latest manifestation of that. And um, uh, and they think that sort of just theirs is the virtuous cause. And, and that's what gives them the, the license to attack the police and to mm. just destroyed so much yeah but they're not it's not actually getting them anywhere is it because i think macron is just going ahead with his plan anyway isn't he he is yeah and this is going to be the interest we're in, entering into a very interesting phase now mike because the the reform has been passed it's the constitutional court has okay it um and there's a split within the eight major unions so the more moderate ones recognize okay that the bill's going through there's nothing we can do Let's sit down with Macron. He's invited the unions to sit down with the government and talk about other ways to improve working conditions. But the more hardline unions, particularly the CGT, which is very hardline, they want to continue the protests, continue the, uh, the strikes, flying pickets, etc. So it's really we're in a phase now of uncertainty and what, what's going to happen. And the violence could easily escalate. Yeah, I mean, that is the problem. And so, I mean, if they're not getting anywhere, then what's the incentive to carry on doing it then? Oh, it's just a day out. <laughs> for, the, <laughs> for, for, the, for the sort of the, for the French who are bored and with nothing better to do. Absolutely, it is, yeah. And, but, Mike, it's really, I think, we've mentioned this before, you and I, that this is far deeper than uh, raise, raising the age of retirement from 62 to 64. It stretches back to, it's, it's almost six years to the day since Macron became president. And if yeah. you remember back then, he, he walked across the courtyard of the Louvre and there was a great excitement because he was seen very much as the, the antidote to Brexit, to Trump, mm. um, and there was optimism, energy, and it's all just dis disintegrated. And he's he's managed that rare feat of antagonising the left and the right. Yes. And no one liked him now. And really, I mean, I talk a lot to the French people and in my comedy accent, they sort of open up to me. Um, and really, I, I'm shocked by the number of, whether they're working class, middle class, no one liked him. And I mean, as far as the way that that then sort of uh, translates into, into voting, he's now not really in charge of his own um, government, is he? Well, yeah, good point. He, he's lost an absolute majority in the parlementary election. So he, he got another term as president, um, 
12 months ago, but then in the parliamentary elections, he lost his absolute majority. You got 89 seats for Marine Le Pen's mm. uh, right wing party. Uh, the, the far left, the left wing, got about a, a coalition of, of around 130 seats. So that's right, he's a lame buck. And he's a lame buck with four more years to run. And this really puts France in a, in a grave crisis. Yes. Does that mean he's going to get closer to the British government to help himself or not? He doesn't seem to be, Mike. This is the extraordinary thing about Macron. He doesn't seem to be making any friends domestically or internationally. Mm. And he's more... Uh, Marine Le Pen yesterday gave a speech to her party, Faithful, in Le Havre in the north of France. And she said that he's, he's more isolated, he's more... Um, alone than ever before. And she's right. And it's, it's hard to know where he turns next. And he's, he's kicked the immigration bill, which was supposed to be his, his other great uh, policy of 2023. It should have been uh, presented to the Senate, the upper house um, in March. That's been now put back till October. So really, he's just drifting aimlessly. But this obviously means that tensions are going to rise on the streets. Mm. And, and as I said, it's a very volatile situation here. Now, what a chance will that have then in sort of affecting tourism and stuff like that? Because, I mean, obviously, loads of people go from here to France. A lot of people in Britain have houses in France. I know when I went over there just recently to Normandy, there was, I think, there was a bit of trouble breaking out uh, in other parts of the country as well, um, you know, and sort of fires being set and windows being broken and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's a good question because there's a lot of violence yesterday in Nantes, Montpellier, Toulouse... A um, bit of trouble in Bordeaux, so cities that are well known to British holiday makers. Um, and tourism has apparently the first quarter of the year, the, the tourism numbers have gone down. Fewer people are coming from America because they've seen the pictures on television. Right. Um, and um, as I said earlier, I think we, we could see more and more strikes now by the, the um, airport workers, the railways. So that, that could have an impact on tourism. And of course, that's what they want. They want to, uh, about two months ago, the Bahad Line Union said, we want to bring France to its need economically. And so they, are they going to carry on, uh, carry through with that threat? We'll see in the coming weeks. But the sum of the tourism industry is obviously um, a, a quite a big target for them. Yeah, absolutely right.